Hello and welcome to another video. I bought some more mini disc stuff. I haven't unpacked it, so I thought I'd show you what I bought. It includes an accessory that I have never heard of until I saw this mini disc listing on eBay. Uh, what happens was I keep an eye on the buy it now stuff because I can't be bothered to all. Uh, I can't be bothered to um, go for auctions. Um, you always end up overpaying anyway. Uh, and it was this buy it now one. I think it was uh, £45. Let me pause the video and I'll check. Yeah, £45, free postage, and they were selling on behalf of someone who couldn't list anything. So let me see what this little note says here. Oh, it's just... Uh, that's odd. Anyway, um, being sold on behalf of someone who can't list it themselves. And it's got an accessory that I've never seen before. Um, it also, I'll show you what it is, but anyway, I put a bid in for it. I think uh, the actual mini disc itself is not working. But I think, I'm hoping that it's not working because they had it on hold. So let's have a look. And I think it's, my guess is, it's been um, the home of a smoker. But although I can't smell anything yet. Because it all looks a bit, uh, a bit weathered. It's quite an interesting bit of kit, and I was, I have been looking for more music, more other of other people's music to listen to, to see if I can find some some more stuff that I'm interested in. So let me move the camera down a little bit. I'm going to try and do as few edits as possible in this. Right. So first of all, we've got. Uh, let me put that off camera for a second. We'll come back to that later, that's the accessory. So let's have a look at the discs. Nicely packed. But yeah, so it's a buy it now, £45 included, including postage. The postage would have been, I don't know, about £3, something like that. So, and it's got all these discs in it. And the price of used discs is now about £2 each, depending on whether they're sought after or not. Um, so it's got discs and... Uh, empty cases. So let's have a quick look through these. Typical uh, TDK, empty box, high space box, sharp, Jimi Hendrix. See, I would not have been interested in this until I got into many of this stuff. But now I'll probably give that a listen and see what it's like. Oasis, now not really into uh, 90s stuff. Queen, uh, some of it. They can't, I don't mind watching their concert stuff, but I'm not really that interested in listening to albums of Queen. Uh, Fat Boy Slim, 90s flashback. Uh, what's this one? This is in the right case, just the wrong way around. High space case, another case. Oh, Harry Enfield and Chum. So this is definitely a 90s collection. But also the Jimi Hendrix is probably, uh, I think, 70s, I would say. Command and Conquer. Prodigy. So Command and Conquer might be an album name, um, but it was also a game that I used to play a lot in the 90s. So I don't know what that's all about. Sailing. Okay. This is what I like. I like finding out what's on these discs when it's not very obvious. More Prodigy. I was quite into Prodigy. <laughs> I didn't even realise they were a punk band. I'm trying to be a bit more mellow with my music now because uh, there's less stress involved. Yeah, I'm watching Jimi Hendrix, that'd be quite good. That's got an Oasis CD in it, so whatevs. Empty boxes. But that's not all of the discs, I think there's more. So that's crossed out, the Jimi Hendrix crossed out. So that'd be quite interesting for me to find out what's what. Harry Enfield and Chums, I wonder what that is. I wonder if they did audio stuff or radio stuff, maybe. I don't know. So I'll find a case for that later. Right, so we have a stand for the mini displayer. And this is a... What is this? Oh, it's the bottom of the stand. Is that supposed to be attached? Let's go on like that. Get it in shot. So how does it work? That must be the back. Because it's got so there's a light indicating charge, there's the back, there's no charger in it though. 
which is fine by me because I've got them anyway. So how does this work? So that's got to go in like that. That's got to poke through there like that. So somehow this attaches. Can't be just that, can it? So there's a line there. Could it be that? Oh yeah, there's a clip there. Oh, interesting. So let's line it up. This is interesting, isn't it? Man tries to fit the cut. Oh, that's it. Just pushes down, stays in like that. There's a little clip there, release clip, I guess. Yeah. Now, why would you do that? Yeah, no idea. Okay, we'll come to the mini disc player in a minute. Sorry about the fan noise in the background. I'm currently uh, upgrading from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 for a customer of my tech support business. Let's move the camera down. Okay. Right, we've got Trans Nation Anthems, Queen, Harry Enfield. Not, not sure on that one. Uh, that's from a TDK um, mini disc. Urgh. How'd you get these out? Oh, I'm such a noob, I don't even know how to get them out of the cases. Is that it? Oh, they don't fall out on their own, do they? So that's a high space disc with a TDK sticker on it. Um, what have we got there? Rock sailing, I don't know what sailing is. Classic chill out, that might be nice to listen to while I'm working. No idea what this is. Monty Python, uh, electronic. Monty Python, Goldie Loon Chain, never heard of it. Hmm. Nice disc that, have a look at that one. Oh, it's a mini disc lens cleaner. Wow, okay, right, I've got another mini disc um, lens cleaner video, not this one. Oh, I'll have to do this one as well. Right, I've got two Ross mini disc lens cleaners and they're not the same. And one uh, is, I've done a video which I'll link to in the description about the uh, my original lens cleaner video. And uh, I've got another one to shoot, sh showing the difference between that and a different Ross mini disc lens cleaner. And now I've got another mini disc lens cleaner. That, I think if you sold that, um, and that looks like a TDK one, you know, it really does. Shame there's no box. If you sold that alone, you could probably get £15 for that on eBay, um, plus postage, maybe 20 No, No instructions and no case, which is a bit of a shame. But I might actually have the case there and I hadn't noticed it. So anyway, that's that in a nice little case logic case with a handle on it. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the mini disc player, and then we'll come on to the mini disc accessory in a minute. So at £45, I think I've got a good deal. That's a neat little case, isn't it? Oh sorry, I was off camera. Right, I'm rushing now because I've got a few videos I want to do today. I think it's got a battery in it. Oh, I can hear it, it's got a battery in it. It's not working. My video's rushed, I'm gonna try and slow down. I've got other videos to do, but I've only got two hours to shoot the whole lot. Because life is quite busy at the moment. But look at that, that's quite a nice mini disc player, isn't it? It's quite light, let's have a look at the battery. I'll have to get that sound out. Yep, so original Sony battery, and I think these were the earlier ones, I'm not really sure. Now that one could be flat. So I'm gonna grab this one, which has been on the charger, but they once they get to full charge, they don't recharge. So I put that in, recharge that. On the charger I've got, charging stand for, a mini, for this mini disc player, they don't recharge, they, um, they charge up once you place them in the player and in the cradle and then they don't 
recharge once they've recharged once they don't recharge again so it might go a little bit flat so let's have a look now then is the remote sorry about the focus there we go yeah nothing on there but i did notice in the video on their listing it looks like it's on hold so i'm going to put that around find the play button which will be there getting no sound Okay, nothing so nothing at all it's got a little bit of corrosion on that it could be the battery is dead now we were getting some sound from that original battery which has now been on charge for about a minute Let's see if that's made any difference oh we need a mini disc in there don't we god i'm so out of practice so let's bung anything in Let's bung some Harry Enfield in. We won't be listening to it anyway. Should it goes in that one. Okay, right. Nothing on the screen. I can hear something moving though. Let's press play. That's not working. Let me listen. No, nope, not working at all. Just oh, we did have a flash there, didn't we? Could be a flat battery. So let's leave the let's leave what I think is my charged battery in there. We have life. The remote is working. And it's upside down. And there we go, we have a working mini displayer. So let's plug that into. Oh, it stopped. That could be a loose connection, actually. Yep, loose connection. So let's move the camera a little bit because my lead is a bit short. Let's put my amp on. Give it a whack. Got some volume. So there we go, we've got a working mini display. I might need a little bit of... Um, oops, press the wrong stop button. I press the stop button on my camera instead of stop button on this. So yeah, I'm well out of practice. So let's stop that. As far as we can see, we've got a working mini display. Although it was sold, it's not working. We've got some headphones. We've got a battery adapter. These things go for about £15 on their own as well. Very clean. Oh, very happy with that. I quite like the look of this. Benefit is it's MDLP, I think. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's SP. No, there we go. MDLP. So it's very lightweight. MDLP player only. And I've never seen one of these before. It is a MZE501. And the cradle. That's not the right cradle. Oh, yes it is. It goes in backwards. So there's the play controls for the cradle. Sorry, for the mini displayer. But when you put it in the cradle, it goes in backwards. What is that all about? Still, we've got the remote. So the remotes are worth quite a few pounds on their own, about 20 pounds. Cradle might be 20 pounds. Broken mini display that's actually working. One of these, which you work about 15 or 20 pounds. Ton of mini discs. I think I've got a good deal there. So let's have a look at the other thing which I've never heard of. And we've got mini disc cleaning disc. Mini disc player cleaning disc in there. Let's move this disc up a little tidier. That's worth about 15 pounds. And we have this, which I still can't get in shot. Oh, I've never heard of these. This is the Aloha, Aloha MD Radial Cleaning Kit. Now it looks like some sort of cassette device, but it, let's turn my amp off, that's buzzing. 
So it's for cleaning mini discs. It's very, very odd. That cleaning discs itself. So let's get it out. Insert mini disc in cleaning kit. Drop some fluid on the cleaning pad and close the cover gently. Hold the handle and rotate it for five to six circles. Now you have a finish. Now you have finished your job. Press the buckle and remove the mini discs. The mini disc. So very very odd. Oh yeah, further instructions on the back there. Never heard of this. An actual device for cleaning discs themselves. It's still got some solution in it. For use with cleaning cassette. So I've never had to clean a mini disc to be honest. But I have got an idea for a video where I get a mini disc as dirty as possible and stick it in the dishwasher and see what happens. See whether it still plays. I want to know how robust they are. So let me see if I can get this open now. It's very slippery. Not helped by the fact that I've just used a multi-surface cleaner on my desk because my hands are quite slippery. Um, let me read those instructions again. Hold the handle and rotate, now you finish cleaning your job and remove the disc. How are you supposed to be able to push down on this? Let me have a look off camera. Okay, figured it out. It's very stiff. It's pushed quite hard on this, in this direction. Ooh, what's this? That's supposed to be somewhere. Ah. Hang on. Is there a picture of it somewhere? No. Okay. So this felt pad I think is supposed to be there. Let me have another look. So this could be faulty. Let's move the camera again. Not very professional editing today. Let's get a disc. Any one will do. So I guess we slide the disc in here and hopefully the shutter will open. Yeah, look at that. And then this bit is the bit that's going to go in here. I don't know what part. I think this is the cleaning pad here. There's a felt, a bit of felt on that sponge. So my guess is that goes in there. Cool. So when you close it up, that comes in contact with the disc itself. Oh, got it snapped shut. Oh, might be in there forever now. Is that magnetic? There's resistance there. All right, let's go for it. So let's get some fluid out. Hopefully it doesn't go on my desk. A little devil, do you? Can't remember what that's from that phrase. It's a marketing phrase. Oh, brill cream. A little dabble do you, a dabble do you, something like that, for real cream. Right, so, close that up. Hold up here for you. Ah, so there we can see the spindle of the disc itself. You can see it spins the disc round. And cleans the disc. Ha, ah, that's very clever. I've seen people do it, I think, oh, I can't remember who did it, but someone did it, someone cleans their disc routinely with a cotton swab. That's got some sort of magnetic closure in it there. Ah, 
<laughs> Look at the state he's left that disc in. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go, I'm in trouble with... Right, the cameras don't focus very well on shiny surfaces. Look at the state it's left that disc in. I wonder if they're all like that. I will not be cleaning my discs unless they're not functioning properly. There's error correction on them anyway, so... Yeah, look, it's dusty, but the error correction will sort that out. So I won't be cleaning my discs, but that is now in a right state. So, I wonder if it will still play though. Let's have a look and see if it's dirty elsewhere as well. Find if you uh, shake a disc like this, it slowly moves it around. Yeah, so it's just where that bit is. It's just absolutely filthy now. So it's a... <coughs> I wouldn't call this a mini disc cleaning kit, I call it a mini disc dirtying kit. But very interesting, never seen anything like that. And I think if I did need to clean one, I would probably use a cotton bud and some IPA. So I'm just going to test that off camera, see if it plays okay. I can't do it on camera because obviously it will be a uh, copyright strike. So, all right, so let's see what goes on. Okay, it's working all right. I did hear one skip, but uh, mind your ears because I'm going to turn this amp up and it might be a bit loud. That's just uh, bleeping because it's on pause. Let's get back a couple of tracks. I'm gonna have to play this loud when my wife's not working downstairs, I think. Seems to be working fine though. So yeah, that's working fine. Um, in terms of not skipping, that disc is working fine. The player's a bit noisy, probably needs lubricating, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look at that. I'm going to test it off camera, and then if it needs uh, cleaning, then I will let you know. You'll get another video for it. So that's it. Very happy with that. Big haul of mini disc stuff. £45, including postage, remote control, cradle, semi-working mini disc, about 20 or discs, no, about 10 discs, something like that, and a weird, um, completely not fit for purpose, uh, MD cleaning kit. So, thanks for watching, uh, just check you're subscribed, um, I'm doing a few videos at the moment, so you need to be subscribed or they might not show up on your feed, and it really helps the channel on the YouTube algorithm. And uh, because I'm doing fewer videos, it might not show up in your um, in your normal um, YouTube feed. So uh, you might want to um, select to receive notifications when I do upload the videos. And don't forget, I nearly always forget, Patreon. I've uh, got a couple of Patreon supporters, which is very welcome um, at this stage in my life, because there are things happening. And uh, so I'm grateful to them. And if you want early access to videos, um, you'll get uh, an earlier early access than you would have done before because I'm doing fewer videos. So check out the video description for links for my Patreon and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.